Hey guys, how's it going? How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Trailer Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you are returning, welcome back. So, this is Divine Masculine's letter to Divine Feminine. If you are ready, I am ready. Let's get guys. Let's get started. Um, yeah, man, my energy is just popping tonight, man. It's exciting. So much is coming through, and it's coming in so freaking quick. So, I guess Divine Masculine, like. I guess me being away for the, the weekend really helped uh, channel these messages to me because usually I wait a couple minutes, but Divine Masson's like, nope, shut up, let's go. So I've been told, let's get into this, guys, okay? Hey, my love. So how do I start this? I know I need to start this. I know I need to tell you. I know I need to come forward. I know I need to open up. I need to just let it all out. I need to just make the first move. I just need to, to just do it. And I mean, I, I say those words and it just, it sounds so easily coming out of my mouth, but I gotta tell you, it's not. You know, I literally sit here contemplating I, I have my phone in my hand and I'm reaching out for it and I send you that text message and you know and but do you think I can press send no I put your number on my phone to dial your number but do you think that I can press the call button to to call you no do you have any idea how frustrating that is do you have any idea how upset I am with myself it, it, I say it and it sounds so easy you know and I can just hear you now say just just press the call button just just send the message you know but I think that I'm scared of what's going to be on the under the end of the phone call I'm scared of what's that message is gonna come through from you you know are you going to be open? Are you going to be warm? Are you, are you going to be inviting? Are you just going to, you know, shut me out and not give me a chance to explain? Like, I know you think that I don't care, but it's, it, I got to tell you, babe, it's not even that I don't care. It's just, there's just been so much going on in my life. And I just felt like the only thing I literally could do at that time was to walk away, you know? I feel like I've been having tower moments after tower moments after tower moments since walking away from you. But, you know, as I look back on, 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 you know, everything that I've been through these last couple months, these last couple of years, you know, I just realized that I had to go through that tower moment. I had to really go through that moment of walking away. And even though I didn't understand it, even though it hurt me to, to see that it really hurt you and, and, you have to understand that I never meant to hurt you. You have to understand that I've never meant to to break you. That was the last thing I wanted to do, babe, was break you. You know, if anything, all I've ever wanted to do was love you. But you've got to understand that I just couldn't love you the way that you needed me to love you. There was just so much going on in my life. There was so much going on that you didn't even know about it because I couldn't even speak to you about it. I couldn't open up. I couldn't express. I couldn't tell you how I feel because my life just felt like it was in complete shakeup. I felt like everything in my life was falling apart. And I looked at you and your life was so beautiful. I looked at you and your life just looked perfect. You looked like you had everything going for you. You, you know, everything in your life just seems to be flowing in. And I, I guess I was jealous. I guess I, I couldn't figure out why your life was so great and why, you know, you're like this, this armor, you know, everything gets thrown at you, but yet you never break. You're just so strong and you're so confident. I want to be just like you. I want to be able to be that strong person that you need me. But I, I wasn't. You know, if anything, I felt like I was broken. I felt like if I didn't love me, how could I expect you to love me? If I didn't see me as great, if I didn't see me as as worthy why would you see me as great why would you see me as being worth someone to love see that's the thing it's never been about you babe it's never been about 
what you never gave me because you gave me so much. You gave me so much to look at. You gave me so much to think. And I envy you. I envy you because I know that God has thrown so much at you and yet you just keep getting back up. You just keep getting back up and I don't have that courage like you have. I mean, I'm trying, but it's like every tower moment that just hits me, you know, it just breaks me and it breaks me, but not you. You've got like this vision of seeing the top of that mountain and you're just climbing to it. And I want to be fierce like you. I want, I want to just have that power and have that control. And I know that at that time, I didn't want to drag you down my mess. I, I didn't want to put you through that tower moment. I, I know I couldn't do that to you. And I felt like I'd rather hurt you than in a way of protecting you than to wait and hurt you down the road because of my own stupidity, because of something that I never healed from. So that's why I disconnected. Because I was blinded. Because I couldn't see what I needed to see. But I see now. I see what I need to see right now. I need to. I, I see it so clearly. I took this blindfold off. And I started seeing the truth from people around me. I started seeing that not everyone that was around me. Not everyone in my corner had the best entrance for me. But you did. And I'm seeing the truth more and more. I'm seeing that. You know I just got to this point in my life. Where I started walking away from people. These past couple weeks, these past couple months, I've seen people clearly for what they're worth. And I know I walked away from you. And I know you were never the cause of why I walked away. I walked away because I walked away because I didn't know what else to do. I was listening to other people. Other people were telling me that I didn't deserve love, that I didn't deserve a commitment, that I, I wasn't worthy of being in a relationship. So, you know, when you hear that, when you when you hear someone tell you that you're not worth being in love or that no one's ever going to love you, that, that, that shit kills, you know? And I have issues. I have depression. I have anxiety, you know? Maybe, maybe I drink a little too much. Maybe I smoke a little too much. And I, I don't want these to be excuses. I don't want you to think I'm making excuses of why I never came back or, or why I've been away. But I, babe, you just have, you have to know that I am nothing without you, that I'm, I'm a nobody, that I just feel like my life is so empty now that you're gone. And I've been so angry at myself, so angry at myself, you know? Because now that I'm clear, now that I've got my mind on right now, that I'm working on what I need to work on, I see that the only person that I should have never turned my back on was you. But I did. Because back then I was clouded. Back then I just... I didn't see it. But I see it now. I see it more clear because I've let go. I let go of what intentionally was hurting me. I let go of all of the things that was keeping me stuck all of the things that was keeping me ungrounded i just let go of it i just got to this point where i just said god i can't hold on to this anymore if this isn't right for me then please leave it please leave it please let it leave my life because i can't live my life like this anymore and i literally feel like the minute i did that things started becoming clearer in my life things started to make more sense and one of those things was that I really fucked up when it comes to you. That I really screwed up this connection. That I really messed up something good. So you gotta understand that I fucking miss you. That I, I truly and honestly really do miss you. And I've been sitting here thinking about how I can make this right. Thinking about how I can come back and just express this to you and, and just tell you and just just be so open and honest about how I feel because you are the first person in my life that I can just talk to you're the first person in my life that I could ever open up to you about anything I could talk to you about anything and you never judged me not once and I feel so stupid for listening to other people right now I feel so stupid for just walking away from the one person who was in my corner since day one 
but it's why now I realize more than ever how much this connection means to me and how much I want this type of commitment, this type of bond, this type of relationship in my life. You know, I've been back and forth waiting for God to send me someone just to love me, send me someone just to be there for me, you know, and he sent me you so long ago. And do you think that I saw that? No, I didn't see it till it was too late. And I'm hoping it's not too late. I'm hoping that when I come back and I make this commitment, when I come back and I make this offer, that you open that door with open arms and you just, you just trust. You just, you just have faith. You don't lose this connection within your heart. You know that this love that we have for each other is just not going to disappear. That what I feel for you is exactly what you feel for me, regardless of what time has passed, what distance has passed. We are one. You know, we are divinely divine love we are we are whole you know because when i when i look out it's you that i want when i see my future when i see myself you know 60 years 50 years 40 years you know whatever the case is it, it's always been you at the end you know all of the ups and downs everything that i've been working so hard for the lately you know, has been so that I can make this work with you. I know I need to fix the things in my life. I know I needed to get my head on straight. I know I needed to have that time with it. I know I needed to go within to really truly understand what this connection is. But I understand more than ever that I don't want to have a family with anyone else. I want my family with you. I want all of the all of it. The kids, the animals. You know, so I've been watching you. I've been seeing how you're doing. I've been, you know, I guess I've been creeping because I know that I want to grow with you. I want, I want to build with you. I, I want to be victorious with you. I want to say 50 years from, from now that we made it together, that against everything that was put against us, all of our obstacles, all of our challenges, we faced it. We became one. That we never gave up on each other, even when the going got tough. Because I know that God sent me you for a reason. And I know that you know that too. I know that you know this connection is, is real. And that this love is true love. And I know you want answers, babe. I know it. I... I know you want that clarity. I know you want to know what happened. I know you want to know why. And I want to give that to you because you you deserve that. All I see when I look out into my future is you. All I want is to is to be happy with you, is to get grounded with you, is to build with you, is to grow with you, is to just I just want to love you. I want to love you and I want to be the man that you need me to be. I want to have enough power to come forward i want to have enough control of self to come forward i want you to to feel my love i want you to feel my intimacy i want you to feel i want you to feel me in all in every way possible but i know it's going to take strength i know it's patience and i know that divine timing is behind this and i know why you've been hearing that a lot divine timing but i'm telling you babe that that's exactly what this is right now it's that timing is just it's got to be right you know, but I'm coming for you. I'm coming in so strong. There's change happening all around, babe. Please don't give up. Please know that the sun is coming. I know it's been dark forever. And I know you feel like, you know, I, that you can't wait any longer. That you're wondering when it's all going to happen. But I'm telling you that sun is coming. That sun is coming because I can see the light more clear than I've ever been able to see it. And I just know that within me. I am nothing without you. I love you so much. I'll see you soon.